Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones with more than face value. Ideally though, the one that we are still missing. And I, I think, if memory, uh, if, if I've calculated right, that this should be my first £2 coin hunt after Christmas. So, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Um, and if we are prior to New Year's, I hope you have a fantastic New Year's too. Um, last last sort of chance to plug the Christmas HQ Christmas jumper for this year as long as well as the all I want for Christmas is Q uh, jumpers available over on Teesprings for limited time around Christmas there we go <laughs> I'm recording so far in advance that um, um, it's, it's bizarre to think that I'm talking about something that um, is, is still to me quite far in the future about a month away so there we go what are we looking for then well we want the last Commonwealth Games common way common blah, 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 blah. Commonwealth Games Wales. Uh, try saying that ten times quick. We've got all the other commemorative two pound coins up to and inclusive of uh, the Great Fire of London, which is the last circulating commemorative two pound coin. Uh, but let's hope today's the day we can start the new year on a new book. So without further ado, let's get into this bag. Right, first bag. Let's show you what we're looking for then. Uh, it's coming in a little bit. That is technologies. We don't want technology. These all just go straight back to the bank because I have no requirements for them in my collection. Our first commemorative is the VE Day Anniversary. Uh, St Paul's Cathedral or the Magnanimity tube I'm going, if you will. Uh, very common. In fact, we've got counters. Whoops. I didn't mean to chuck it. I know it's common, but I don't mean to chuck coins around. Um, it's a very common coin. Uh, we have got counters tracking how many we find them over the course of filling the book. Well, there's another one. That's a nice one. It's my favourite circulating £2 coin, the Florence Nightingale £2 coin. It's a beautiful coin. I absolutely love it. But again, that's a very common one. Right. Let's see what we get in this, the next bag. And it's a shame that um, it's been so long since we had a new coin in circulation. Oh, mm -hmm. Britannia, I reckon. Yep, Britannia. So 2015, this design replaced technology as the new definitive design on two pound coins. Uh, 2015 is a low minted year. 2016 is higher, but still a relatively low minted year um, and a desirable coin. All subsequent years, to the best of our knowledge, are not intended for circulation. So when I say not intended for, not blah, blah, blah. I'm not having a good luck of, of talking today, am I? pop my teeth back in and try again um, so not intended for circulation for people that maybe are tuning in for the first time or haven't watched too many coin collecting videos and NIFC stands for not intended for circulation um, I think we might have a fake on our hands here because um, either that or this is some sort of plasticine queen that's had her face smudged a bit so this, this queen has had so much Botox there is no definition in their face anymore. 2008, no security hologram in the middle. That is a definite fake. Let's have a look at the edge description. The edge description is there. Standing on the shoulders of giants. Not very uh, defined. But yes, definitely, definitely, definitely a fake. Not just uh, one that's been worn down. I will keep that as an oddity. They're kind of interesting. So because people do ask what I do with the fakes when I find them, uh, I keep them because you can't spend them. The bank don't want them back. So they'd just be destroyed and that would be money down the drain. And um, I don't find too many of them. I know there are some other coin tubers that have had the misfortune of finding a fair old whack of fake £2 coins, which uh, I would be quite disappointed uh, to get as well. But um, the odd fake here and there, I don't mind. I'll keep that in my collection as an oddity. Uh, so we've got the abolition of the slave trade here. You can see, actually it's not very clear, but if we zoom in, there you go. It's got a textured finish on the inner part of the coin. Um, it's slightly, slight little gapage there, but um, I'm sure that's nothing, nothing to be worried about. It's not going to affect the sort of value of the coin. Oh, it's, it's a bit defined on the other side as well. I might keep that as a slight oddity. It's not a, it's not going to add much value to it. But yes, texture finish on the inner part. If you find one that has a smooth finish with some initials to the bottom right of the seven, that equally is an NIFC, not intended for circulation. Find one of them, that'd be good going. I've never found an NIFC two pound coin. I have found my fair share of 50 piece though. So uh, to find a two pound coin, it's definitely on my hit list of things that I would like to achieve on the channel. But we'll endeavor to keep trying. You've got the active union there. 
that's a fairly common design. We see that quite often. But we haven't had it today, so we'll add that up to the top row. And then this will be something too. We've got Shakespeare's histories. So, Shakespeare's tragedies, The Skull and the Rose. Um, recently, we've, there's been found an error on the edge inscription. So it should read uh, what, a, what, what a piece of work is a man. Whereas some of them are finding them with... Um, for king and country so i do check these inscriptions all the shakespeare's just in case it should say the hollow crown which this one does so uh, we shall put this one down the bottom row it's still worth keeping in my mind well in my collection we all keep different things uh, for different reasons but um if it's over face value which that one is slightly there is another there is a place in my hoard for it oh lord kitchener is it a mule error? No, it says two pounds on the bottom, so that is the um, the correct diddly D. That's how it should be. But uh, rumor has it there may or may not be a mule error to be had out there. But there's no harm in checking. It takes it takes a fraction of a second to flip over a coin and just check that it says two pounds on the bottom. And how cool would it be finding one? Nothing else in that bag. Case of the diddlies. Let's see if we can get more luck. Oh, there we go. Right off the mark, we've got uh, Shakespeare's histories again. And again, it says the hollow crown. So um, we'll pop that with the other histories we've got recently. Fairly recent. It's probably just over a month ago now. Oh, there we go. Our third histories. Good golly. And again, it says the hollow crown three crowns oh here we go so this is the one we know there could be an error on Shakespeare's tragedies I was about to say um it probably was just over a month ago that we found all three Shakespeare two pound coins in one hunt which doesn't happen very often at all we used to in the past but um the comedies are just so so scarce down south so this one says uh back to the first the front what a piece of work is a man so not the edge inscription error, still slightly over face value, more valuable than the histories, the, is the tragedies. Comedy's just about outpacing it in terms of value, but um, a nice coin. I won't grumble at finding one of them. I'm dreading to think my next whole coin collection video because um, I think I'd quite like to do it for the anniversary of my channel next year, which is in, I want to say February. I want to say February, it'll be three years that I've been hunting through coins on the channel, which is, um, it's, it's crazy to think that I've been doing this for three years and uh, people are still tuning in and watching. More, more people are tuning in and watching three years on than um, for a start. So um, yes, I think a whole coin collection video is, is definitely on the cards for the uh, start of the, what, the early part of next year. Um, I don't want to do them too, uh, too often because it takes so long. Um, not so much the filming, the filming still takes a while. I think the last one I did took, uh, was it six and a half hours to record it? And then edited down into a 45 minute video. So it's still a pretty lengthy video I'm putting out. Um, but they are kind of, they are cool and interesting things to sort of, because it also is my opportunity to take inventory as well. Log on, you missed it, everything that I've got in my hoard. Um, all that generally does is bump up the massive amount of UK coins that I've got in my collection, but there we go. Uh, wireless, uh, wireless, yeah, wireless transmissions, that is it. Wireless bridges the Atlantic is the edge inscription on that one. A very common one. Another shiny one there. Another Shakespeare's histories, holy Toledo, this is the history's bag. And again, it says the hollow crown on the rim. So another one to add into my hoard. But no, the only thing is I've got to get a bit smart on how I film those whole coin whole collection videos because um normally i would have all my coins in the flips and i go that there's one two three four and speed it up so you can see each individual coin uh, but that's going to take a long time for some of my the, the, the coins that i keep that i probably don't need to keep but um yeah so i've got i can't i've got to work that out charles dickens there very common got to counter for it i don't want i don't want next see what we get in this bag but no my two pound coin luck i've been saying this for absolutely ages now has been i've been so lucky recently there we go another shakespeare's histories and again the hollow crown another one to keep and again, a shakespeare is going to bankrupt me <laughs> i mean that is the joy of uh, collecting coins this way 
um, in as much as those coins cost me two pounds if it gets to the point where I decide I don't want to keep them all or I don't know I need to need need the money for something uh, I can pay them straight back into the bank they're still worth two pounds Charles Dickens there add him to the counter so it's a win-win it's been, it's like it's the safest gambling you're gonna get because um, it costs nothing well I've got a business account so it costs me a little bit to get coins out but um, it's all in good fun and there is a uh, guy Fawkes so guy Fawkes remember remember there's no such thing as per member it might look like a per member in fact I well, know they've got quite a fine kickers on there actually but again if you hold it in the cert a certain angle it hides the kicker don't pay more than face value per member though for goodness sakes they are so common in fact I think I probably find more that look like per member than remember I used to say that in every video that I found a guy forks two pound coin but it drove people around the twist so I stopped saying it every time I had one but no for the benefit of the people because uh, my channel's had a bit of a boom recently in terms of new subscribers for the benefit of the new viewers don't don't get head up with your per members uh, Trinity House there one of my favorite circulating designs it's only a common one it's only face value but I just think it's a cool design um, active union there for the second time today you know, that's one of the interesting things about um, finding out the, what people's favorite coins are um, especially because um, although the desirability of a coin the rarity the scarceness the value of a coin may color the opinion of a coin somewhat um, there are lots of face value coins that I think are lovely that I think are really really cool um, and I'm sure most people will have their favorite face value coin that um, every time you see one you put in your collection you pop into a pot as a sort of savings mechanism oh, that's a case of diddlies for that bag not good all right let's go into this one more luck please let's have an edge hunt so it should say standing on the shoulders of giants oh hang on what's this on the bottom rugby world cup 1999 I'm gonna guess it's the rugby for two pound coin which it is there we go we have found a commemorative coin hunting the edges uh, this is a very common one though so that goes on the top row what's going on why are we are we sliding down the we, we see we appear to be sliding down let's just uh, correct this somewhat there we go I'm not quite sure how that's well maybe I'm pull, just slowly pulling this down where my uh, my knees my <laughs> my elbows are on the table <laughs> I know my head shoulders knees and toes don't you worry <laughs> my brain didn't engage as quick as my mouth in that situation and uh, there's another active union but I had a fair few of those active unions today it's not a coin we see too often it is as I keep saying only face value Ooh, Magna Carta there we go uh, again a desirable coin one we don't see that often and with the uh, Magna Cartas, it's quite common to find bits of cud, little bits of extra metal around the crown, somewhere around the seats, things like that. Um, in such an intricate design, the, it's where the, uh, the um, what are they called, the, the dyes will, will wear over the course of minting the, minting the massive amounts of coins that they do mint and can cause some extra uh, cud marks there. Uh, so the 2015 is always worth checking if, there's, if it's an IRB. To be fair, all the 2015s are keepers in my mind, so... Um, I don't always check it because I know it's going into my collection one way or another. But uh, no, Magna Carta, a very nice coin to find. One that um, we are finding less and less and less of. Um, obviously, Commonwealth Games Wales, the ones we found the least of. In fact, we've done been in this. We're going to be knocking on for two years. Yeah, we're going to be knocking on for two years trying to put this book out because I do one a week. We're knocking on a hundred videos. Well, I never. Uh, Charles Dickens there. Again, very common. Nothing else in that bag. Well, how's that? We have made it all the way to the last bag. We'll have a sneaky peek for the benefits of my longer term viewers. I think I did see something, but um, that's it. I used to do the sneaky peeks of the, uh, the last bag for every video, but uh, people didn't. People weren't happy with that. So every now and again, we'll revisit and do it. But for those of you that watch this far into the video, you might be interested to know that I've got a Discord server you can come and join. If you're over the age of 13, which is Discord's rules, not my rules, you can click the link down in the description to come and join that. 
Uh, alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. And there's the PO box you can write into if you so wish to. Uh, we've got another Shakespeare's Histories, which again says the Hollow Crown. Histories number one, two, three, four, five, six. Shakespeare Histories. Holy Toledo. Well, I never. Uh, I won't complain because they are lovely, lovely coins. Now, Shakespeare says it's a beautiful set, all three coins, to be fair. Star find for the day uh, goes to the, the Ice Queen, the Botox Queen. No. <laughs> Although an interesting oddity, um, Magna Carta is definitely my star finder today. Let me know down in the comments though, what would be your star find out of, out of this uh, resulting, resultant hunt? I'd be always interested to see what coins you guys are liking. And as ever, all that leaves me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.